The issue opens where we see the Fantastic Four come across a mysterious structure in the mountains which Reed Richards dubbed as the Spire. We as the audience then discover that this dimension had been ravaged by a variant strain of the Marvel Zombies virus, and the Fantastic Four were some of the last remaining heroes left. Knowing he did not have much time, Reed informs his family that they only had seven days to stop the infection and that he planned to lock himself in the spire during that time to free himself from all distractions so he could create a potential cure for this dying world. Reluctant to leave their friend, Ben and Johnny said their goodbyes with Susan Storm who embraced her husband, wishing him the best, and even if he were to fail, she would want him by her side with the little time they had left. Locked in the spire with nothing but his robotic companion Herbie, Reed went to work on studying the virus with the literal weight of the world on his shoulders. With six days left, Richards was hard at work where we see him receive a call from this world's Iron Man who was still very much alive. With very little time allocated to having conversations, Reed had Tony get to the point of the call where he discovered that Stark had begun mass producing Iron Man suits for the Earth's population to keep them safe, but many refused to wear them because they feared Tony and his creations. Dude, it's a zombie apocalypse! The only thing cooler than this is having a free Iron Man suit to go with it and fight zombies. What is wrong with these people? Sign me up! We then see Tony bring up something traumatic involving the Super Scroll, which Reed told the man to never bring up again, and promptly hung up. With now five days left, we see Reed have only ten minutes to eat his rather bland breakfast so he could quickly get back to work. With no books, windows, or music, Reed quickly felt his mind slipping as he focused on his work, even forgetting to use his plastic abilities to keep his humanoid form. Upon the fourth day, Reed awoke with a brilliant idea. Given the cosmic rays that gave the Fantastic Four their incredible abilities, it gave them all a superhuman immune system that resisted nearly every infection known to man. Since none of the four were infected yet, Reed concluded that instead of creating a cure, he would make a vaccine composed of cosmic radiation that would make the surviving population immune. Fueled with newfound hope, Mr. Fantastic spent the next 24 hours feverishly working to save his dimension, ignoring calls from the Avengers and even his own children. With three days left, an excited and rather sweaty Reed called Tony Stark to inform him of his breakthrough with this vaccine. However, it is from Iron Man that we find out the truth of what was really going on involving his comments on the Super Scroll. It turns out that the entire beginning of this story of Reed saying a noble farewell to his family was all in his head, and in reality, they had all been violently killed by the Super Scroll, who was one of the first infected members of the Marvel Zombies virus. Overtaken by grief, Reed came to the Spire to die, creating this false world savior scenario to mentally cope with what happened. With one day left, we see Reed atop the spire, thinking back of the beautiful life he once had. Saying his goodbyes to Herbie, we see that he was actually infected this whole time, with his powers only keeping the transformation at bay. As the flesh melted off the former hero's face, he told his robotic companion that he would miss this world, where his bloodied corpse would then collapse to the ground this universe's Fantastic Four finally gone.